I just tried to have a conversation with Lil Nun <clears throat> about um, Lou's watching NDEs, which is near-death experiences. Linda's the skeptic in the room. It doesn't really get heated. We're not that kind of dynamic, thank God. Um, but... Uh, it went off to, um, I've been noticing in the room, my son and I, from one corner diagonally across, and sometimes it shoots over to the overhead of the bed. It's, um, I just read an article about NAG NAG. Um, it's a thermal electric conduction something to do with a crystal. It's like, I don't know, I'm, I was trying to look at the picture and relate it to applied physics, but applicable in what I'm experiencing in the moment, in the, in the residence. Uh, and then Lou and I, he was going off about intent, and I'm like, right, intent. I was like, but here's the thing, Lou. I was like, here's where your human logic where you lose me, we don't share the same core logic. Um, he, he goes off on tangents. Um, I'm like, because uh, he's talking about, all, life's all about choices. I was like, well, but here's the truth of it. I was presented with a choice several times. Every time I'm presented with the same choice, I make the same decision that I want it. And then somehow the choice that I intended and I wanted is removed. Now the abduction of the choice that I willfully chose and wanted and expected has now been withheld from my person several times where it's been put in front, and then it's taken away, and then it's put in front, and then it's taken away. So I was like, so now how do you, in your human logic, Lou, explain that? Because I never said I wanted to go without it. I said I wanted it. End of story. So now, my father's like, like his human logic d pattern, in his thought pattern, can't even, he's, he's trying to resurrect a dead philosophy going, no, that's, you have to, well, and then he's like, he's like, I'm really not understanding you. I go, yeah, no, I know that. And so I said, why don't you try to put it in human terms? I was like, all right. I was like, so there was, when I was six, a boy in the woods presented on a business meeting. I was like, I chose that I wanted what I was presented with and then he disappears. Then there was a boy that appeared in second grade. He stayed for a little bit and then he disappeared. Then when I was 16, 15, 16, he appeared again and then he disappeared. And then in college he appears and then he disappears. I was like, and then the last time, I think I met him through eHarmony, but then there was the World Gym piece, and I didn't put two and two together, because again, I'm having trouble in the electron transport unit of disappearing and changing memories, feels like a key fob that somebody keeps pushing to make memories go away and people to just act as if they never happened because to them they can't connect with the footage that actually, whatever, changes dynamics real quick and it makes it really difficult to explain your position um, in geospatial things. However, this has happened several times 
So now he appears the last time, I'm explaining to Lou, as Eric. That's what he calls himself. He's like, okay, so what happened? I was like, well, we went on a date. I was like, I chose him. I was happy with him. I tried to call to follow up, and I never heard back. And he's like, oh, well. He's like, what did you do? I said, he said he was a pilot. He says, where? I'm like, I don't know. He said, military. He said, all right. He's like, so then why don't you find him? Look him up on Facebook. I'm like, not that easy, Lou. I was like, and I'm pretty sure I made a couple of videos. I was like, um, with my intent in the forefront. Um, he's like, well, then he's just not interested. I'm like, right, yeah, no, I get that's what your human logic thinks. Okay. And so it is whatever it is. I said, I don't think that's the way that it works because there's a whole lot of things with internet protocols and something with Telefonica and the way telecommunication works, especially if he's in New York with some kind of cell phone and then has to leave. But uh, again, I could imagine a lot of things and speculate, but I won't because why bother? Um, and he was like, well, then, he's like, just look him up on eHarmony. I go, how? I was like, I don't even have an account anymore. I was like, and I don't have money for a membership. And he's like, right. He's like, well, then he just might, and I'm like, stop. Stop trying to make human excuses for a non-human event. And just quiet. Quiet your mind. Quiet, like, the room. Just let the room not be programmed with any alternate source communication. And he just couldn't stop himself. So I had to walk away. And I'm like, see, this is why we don't have discussions, Lou. I was like, because I'm trying to have a father-daughter, like, get it conversation. And then you either go off on these tangents or you throw at me things that aren't so. And you try to change the outcome of the moment. I was like, so just stop. I'm walking away right now. This is how it gets ruined. And I just walked away into the room, sat down, and here I am. It is November 27, 2021. Um, and um, there's some other thing. There's another story floating around that Lou and Lynn don't have the correct memory of at all. Um, but I'm not bringing, I'm not going into that because, um, it is just dereliction on such a scale of horror. Like, it's absolute horror. It, I mean... Every bit of this. So Lou's talking about NDEs, and I'm like, right, so that's when you're in a tube, or you're in an environment that's healthy and saturated with good energy. I was like, and everything feels bioilluminescent. There's like love vibration that comes out of it. It just everything to the feel, to the touch, the everything, it just, it illuminates, right? Your body interacts within that environment correctly. There's a, there's a cycle between the, the visual cortex, the brain stimulation, and, um, you being able to communicate and your body, um, being to work in the correct symmetry with static and electricity and so on and so forth. I was like, that's what they speak up at, at that NDE thing. I was like, um, but that's like near death, like energy transference or whatever. I was like, but then you've got where we are now. But I was like, in this realm, it's like walking through a static electric fence constantly. And sometimes you get zapped or hurt by uncontrolled electric or controlled by some other source that wants to hurt you purposely. Um, and it just feels like, um, seismic vibration and static electricity and the body, like for me, it's just not healing right. It's taking a long time to heal. 
um, and on my feet I can see the damage. I mean, on my nail beds I can see, like this one especially, the nail bed doesn't even look I mean, they're not, A, I'm not manicured, because I don't have money for manicure, but also they just didn't grow right, because it's just been in such constant state of dys dystopia. Um, but it's the same thing with my feet at the moment, um, with odd absorption of thermodynamic electric, I suppose, if that's the word that you could misappropriate into a new appropriation, like to recycle or repurpose the word for a moment to explain a non-discussed phenomenon in a paranormal way in some quantum state that I need to document for my own personal um, purpose, since I'm the one being harmed. And I don't know by whom or by what. Um, I can put some of the the quantum or the quintessential puzzle pieces together through Ruzel R U Z Z L E, which is myself creating a three dimensional puzzle and vocabulary to describe my one phenomenon that I'm in at the moment. Um, since there may be other pieces involved, and I need to encapsulate it in, like, time capture, um, which is what I'm doing at the moment, time encapsulate in time capture, 